Yes, we're live. Yeah. We're into the game. And we're currently in the ban phase, unfortunately. We didn't catch the first part of it. Once again, a woman's left unsatisfied. And to see. Unfortunately, I haven't particularly looked at. Doubt is the greatest enemy. The champion pulls of all the players. But what I can expect to see is the rest. highest ranked um, player. Which is. ABC. Full fire. To be on Kaisar. If they haven't banned Kaisar, so I could see a Kaisar first pick here. Or, of course, we've got a Kled here, which is for the lows, which he is the top liner. Spring Jester. He's blocking in the Zarath. For what I can only presume is the mid lane. Carthus Jungle for Stalin. The Zyra Khan now for AGSB for Vilfire and NHX. Apparently, the game is going to continue as a 4v5. It's probably okay because there's such a difference in rank in the LT Boys team. We're going to have to wait for a 3 minute stream delay. So what do I expect from this game? Um, well, <laughs> firstly, I'm not sure what's going on with the champions on that team, but I can presume that we'll probably uh, be seeing a 1-1-1 in every lane. They've got a heavy amount of AP that, of course, uh, AGSB can itemize against. Uh, especially in their Olaf. And AGSB is certainly not lacking in damage of their own with the ultra strong Zaya. She has been nerfed this patch, but only just. And 
rise is still as strong as ever. Just got another two minutes to wait. I'm very interested to see where these champions go. Finally, we're going to be getting into the game very shortly. And there we have it. We have a couple of skins on the board. A double Cosmic Dusk Zyacom for Vilfire and NHX. Let me remind you though that Vilfire is gold and NHX is bronze, so I'm um, not sure about the disparity in rank for the bot lane. Okay, finally the game started. And let's see where these champions go for the Spitfires.
Oh, we've got Sharath in the top lane. So I go in the bottom lane and then I presume the Nico in the middle lane. Unless that's actually that's actually Nico in the bottom lane. I've already been absolutely fooled by that one. I'm being asked for my prediction for the game. Now, of course, I have to be completely unbiased, but if I were a betting man, I would bet on AGSB Esports. And unfortunately, there are no possible chances for a pentakill from AGSB. I've been in there. Steal of their blue, which is a shame for the carpet. But we've just got a couple of trades going on right now in the top lane, and Carthus is struggling against the red buff. I would not be surprised to see him die there. Don't call me a prophet. We have 12 CS for Mola. And a perfect engage from the Rakan Legend NHX123. And this Darkano Pulse from Spring Jester 850 on his signature Zerath pick. See you. First blood. From the rise. Now that is what I call a skilled mid lane. Three minute first blood from rise with his 18 CS. And I'm really excited to see whether this rise can get ultra fed during this game. Spring just to die shortly after. And now at three kills for AGSB squats. And I'll keep this at two two times speed until we catch up. Another kill for Lemon Curl. And to the Carthus. And build by a bit disappointing to see him take three tower shots there for no reason, but Feels like deja vu in the top lane. As another kill goes on to attack.
for speed now. We're back to one times. Bot lane is to just get out in time to stop their vehicles uh, being stopped. with a nice tower dive, getting out just in time not to die to the tower. And we're now at 7 and 0 for LT boys and just as many minutes. Now Carthus, I'd like to see him do more in this game. He can be a very deadly champion, especially when he turns level 6. And I hope to see more of him. So we might not get to level 6 for him very soon. More tower dive from Multi Boys. They're really doing well in this game so far with 9 kills in 8 minutes. does feel like we've seen that many times before, with Kled getting another one on the top side. And he's almost got the first tower for all two boys. Now I'm expecting to see a tower dive here. Olaf already taking a turret shot. But Flash from Jeffy, who knows that he's in trouble. I'm afraid Stalin's not going to have that luxury as he gets wiped out with the charge from Flood. Jeffy still just about in range to get a W off, but unfortunately he's not quite prepared for the ult from, from NHX. And now, I would not be surprised to see a tower dive from OF here, yeah, quick and easy for Ulti Boys. Although we do get a dismount from the fight. Pop Blossom comes down from Nico, but she's not going to find the kill. Vilfire is going to get the kill with that wonderful outplay with the Flash Root. And now on the top side, Cled looking at Spring Jester, wondering can he get the tower dive off? I think he might just be able to here. The tower's on low enough health. He could try and take a bit of the tower with that demolish and then go straight for the cruiser out. As you can see, the bear trap on a rope goes through and gets the kill. He goes godlike, 7 and 0. Really pulling more than his weight here. Now I expect to see a double kill from the rise. Perfect, he gets stunned. He can still go in for more. He's Jeffy. If he walks back, and now we have Kled coming back in for his 8th kill of the game at 11 minutes. Now 
with Harold picked up for Olaf. I'm wondering where multi boys want to place it. Do they just want to send it down the mid lane and end the game in a quick and easy fashion? the top side tower, top side inhibitor tower of Spitfires. Get him engage. The Khan just about catches onto Nico. He gets the grand entrance and the root from the belly caller from Zaya will secure them the kill. This has secured himself the fourth cup of the game. He's up to level five. You might start seeing some level six action from Karth as soon as the hold gets placed by Olaf. They are going to go down the bog standard mid lane siege route. All five of them in the mid lane. I don't think there's much that a Spitfire's team can do against AGSB. Uh, and AGSB with 13 kills. 13 minutes make that 19. Now, Ulti Boys are really just running it through Spitfire's team at the moment. They're really showing how to speed run against Blue Legends. And I would not be surprised to see a sub-15 minute victory here. But Blossom is a last resort for Spitfires. But they're not able to find anything with it. They get absolutely aced with that. An ultimate from Rise will take any checks into the base. And that will be the one kill for Spitfires. As that's a 14 minute win for AGSB. I think that will be it for now. We can come back in a week's time and see if we have more games to cast. Thanks for watching.